Good Sunday morning, Ephesians chapter 5. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise but as wise, making the best use of your time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. The wisdom of God is calling us today. We are reminded in Scripture that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Every fork in the road and every crossroads of life requires a decision on our part. Throughout our entire life, on a daily basis, 24-7, we are making countless choices that determines whether we are living wise or foolish. A wise decision is not based on self-examination or anything other than the wisdom of God that's found in His Word. Through the seeking of the Lord's guidance and His wisdom, we make wise choices. Making decisions on our own, apart from God, that is based only on our feelings or desires, that's not wise. Because as humans, we have limited knowledge, and God knows everything. To choose wise or foolishly started in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve, and the choice is still alive today with every human being that now or that ever existed. Adam and Eve chose to make the decision to disobey God based on their own experience and their own desires. It was not that they weren't aware of what they needed to know to make the right decision because God told them in Genesis chapter 2. The Lord God commanded them saying, You may surely eat of every tree in the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in that day that you eat it, you shall surely die. Whenever we're faced with a choice, regardless of how major or minor it may be, we should always ask ourselves, what's the wise thing to do? The wise thing to do would be to seek God's wisdom through God's Word. In all our decision making, we live the consequences of the choices that we make, good or bad. Proverbs 3, 7 says, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Turn away from evil. Paul urges us to look carefully regarding how we walk. Look carefully how we live our life. In other words, give much thought to the choices we make before we make them. Why? Because too often we suffer painfully for choices that we make that we have not taken time to filter through the Word of God. Don't waste any more time aimlessly running to and fro on self-dependency. Now is the time to seek the Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray that I may submit to the leading and guidance of your Holy Spirit, that I may be filled to overflowing with his grace and his wisdom. Keep me from anything that discredits your name and lead me in the path of righteousness to the glory of my Savior, Jesus Christ, in whose name I pray, amen. God bless you. It's Sunday. Get to church.